Let's make your iPhone 7 and 7 Plus really cool with some awesome iPhone accessories. So I made a video like this last year with the 6 and 6S and it's taken a while but finally all of the cool things I wanted to show you guys are out. So in this video I wanted to share the best or coolest accessories in my opinion for the iPhone 7. Now some of the things I showed you in the last video like the laser pin which still do work with the 7 and 7 Plus they just don't work very well. You gotta use an adapter and that's no fun. But I just wanted to mention that this one still does work. It is pretty cool. I mean, get a laser out of your iPhone. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus exclusives. So for the people that don't want to let go of the headphone jack and you don't like Apple's solution to it, I have a really, really great solution. See, the problem with Apple's is you can listen to music through the 3.5 jack, but you can't charge your phone at the same time. So here's a solution developed by Oxylite. You know, this thing caught my eye because it is probably the best looking adapter to fix this problem. So what is it? Very, very simple little guy like this. On one end, you have a lightning connector. On the other side, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug your headphones in. Now, the cool thing about it is it does light up to let you know it is working. So as soon as you start charging it, you will see this really, really cool LED kind of nice touch uh, to this, let you know it's charging. Plus on the other side now, you can go ahead and add a headphone jack to listen to your songs while it's charging. Now it's uh, kind of small. I like that about it. The form factor is not terrible. What's cool is that it matches the IP67 water resistance of the iPhone. Anyways, I just wanted to test the sound quality real quick. I know you guys won't be able to hear it, uh, but I just wanted to see how it sounds. This basically uses a built-in digital audio converter. Uh, it'll do that in there and output the song. So really, really cool. Basically the same thing that this one is, just in a smaller, cooler form factor. Comfort-wise, it works very well, especially in landscape. If you hold it like this, you can't hold your phone the same way just because it interrupts right here. You're gonna have to adjust to that. It's not the greatest, but you can then uh, switch these around, I think. You can get the softer side up here and it's a little bit easier, I guess. Ah. No. <laughs> Anyways, there it is, the Oxylite uh, adapter. Now, why wait for the iPhone 8 to get wireless charging? It's a really cool feature we could all benefit from on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus using a small little adapter. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys one uh, back in 2016, but they have gotten better since. They have gotten thinner, more durable, and water resistant. So this is the latest in that. It actually charges even faster than the old one just because they made it a little bit uh, wider and it seems to capture energy more efficiently. And here it is. So it's an inductive charging pad. Discover innovation, cool. It comes with a little sticker so you can stick it onto the back of the iPhone. Now the other one, it was intermittent. It worked sometimes. Am I supposed to take this off or not? Oh, it would work sometimes. Sometimes it wouldn't, but let's check this out. So plug this in here and very very sleek and with this uh right here let's just set it on it huh not working oh there we go it does work that is so cool man we shouldn't have this technology yet here it is okay here we go and i want to test if it works through a case so let's set this on here and see how it works some of the yes it does work that is cool Sweet, pretty consistent actually. And it has to be somewhat in the middle. Yeah, directly in the middle of the pad. So this means you can go to Starbucks now, set it on the table on those charge points, whichever one has one, and have it work. Putting it in a case, let's see if it works through something a little bit more heavy duty like the UAG. If it doesn't, that would not be cool to take off your case every single time. And it doesn't. Oh, it does, it does. All right, so you do have to put it pretty accurately in the middle of the charge pad. Otherwise, it's a bit finicky, but that is so cool. Add wireless charging without needing to wait for Apple to do it. And next up, something I've wanted to review for a very long time. I finally got one of these. These are brand new and updated for the iPhone 7. It's a dual screen case for your iPhone. It adds an extra e-ink display on the back. So much like a Nook or a Kindle, you can read books, articles long past when your iPhone battery dies the power is completely separate. It's a very unique concept, that's for sure. There are actually phones with built-in screens like this in the back, so although we won't get that, there's this is kind of like a workaround solution. Okay, so here is this display. Basically, don't need a Kindle anymore. I doubt it would compare in quality to it, but 
Let's see, I need to take this film off first. The best part about any YouTube career is having to peel this off of brand new products all the time. <laughs> Anyways, press and hold the button for five seconds to turn on the ink case. So no, it does not charge your phone, which is a bit sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug in an iPhone 7. This charging solution is kind of interesting. It's like a MagSafe magnetic. Reminds me of one of the accessories I showed you in the last video. Um, and I guess they didn't want it to go all the way in into this and power them together because it would add extra bulk that you don't need. Now the refresh rate doesn't seem too good, but then again, I'm not reading text and reloading entire pages. And uh, what is this little pin here? Let's check this out. You've been selected to test out the brand new iPhone 6 arriving 2016. I can't wait guys. Damn. The spam I found while trying to download the app. The refresh rate isn't terrible. It refreshes every three pages. So, uh, you know, you can get used to it, but it is a bit less convenient than a Nook or Kindle would be. Also, I wanted to show you something I actually took, and you can import photos from your phone into here. I took a screenshot of my home screen, and look at that, what it looks like. Ah, what just happened? It actually looks really, really funny. The case is not bulky at all. The screen works well. Uh, the synchronization with the app works very, very well. I was able to get books and photos over to it within seconds. So very big thumbs up for this thing. All right, so I tested one of these in the last video as well, but this is a high quality uh, Zeiss glass, the best. It's very expensive too. So this fits the 7, 6, 6S and the 6 and 6S Plus. Let's go ahead and try out this high quality glass. I've actually never even opened this. Here is the lens itself. Oh, wow. This thing is heavy. A lot of heft in there, but that looks really, really nice. I believe you can get different lenses that are zoom, wide angle, fisheye, all of that, but cool. Lines up perfectly here. All right, there it is. Oh my goodness. That is a beastly looking lens. Let's go see how it performs. So it definitely is a zoom lens. I this is not made for videography, so I'm gonna try and see what kind of photos we can get with this. All right, so those are the results. And basically, in a nutshell, this is a two times zoom lens, a telephoto lens, which is essentially what the iPhone 7 Plus has. So if you just click the two times zoom, that's basically what this lens does. Of course, it does it a lot clearer and a lot cleaner, and it gives you a little bit more of that bokeh effect. So I do like that about it. Very heavy duty, it's very heavy even. Uh, but it does get you some very nice photos. So just gotta say, it's very nice, a bit spendy, but for the person that wants to get some serious photographs from their iPhone, this does the job. And the last one in this series that I wanted to mention is the DJI Osmo Gimbal. This thing has changed the way I record video completely. It becomes so much smoother, cleaner, more professional. So it is a bit spendy. It starts at, I believe, $300. I think you can get it for $250 in some areas. But wow, so I'm gonna power the screen on here. The results I can get from this, just incredible. So it's obviously better for video. You're able to get some very, very stable shots and it just has amazing software support. I remember talking about the camera app not having 60 frames per second in 1080. Soon the company did update it and uh, they did go ahead and get that functionality. This is made by DJI. So there's a lot of controls on here. You can move it side to side. That's the motorized function. You can move it up, down, and whichever position you put it in, double tap on the back, basically orients it right away. You have a quick record button here using the camera app. Uh, you also have a, an option to zoom. And one of my favorites is if you hold the trigger on the back, you can actually move it around into any orientation that you want. This thing is simply amazing to be put. So like I actually got a lot of footage with this. A lot of the stuff we film on my channel uses this and a lot of people always wonder, what's my gimbal? And this is it guys, I could not recommend this more. So if you guys wanted to get some professional grade looking video from your camera or from your iPhone, this is a thing to do the job. And just a couple other ones that are notable mentions. Here is Uncourage. I would recommend this to anyone that carries this around but doesn't want to lose it. So Uncourage basically, gives Apple's courage back so you can go ahead and put your adapter in and hang it on a keychain. Very, very simple, effective. This thing's like a dollar. So, and the holding power is very, very strong here. So I'd say definitely grab one if you don't want to lose this thing and have it at your convenience always. And here's the Megaverse case. This is actually a before the GOAT case. I believe GOAT copied these guys. This is the case that has many purposes, many functions, but is probably known for hanging on walls the most. It comes with a built-in bottle cap opener attachment, a mirror attachment, a credit card holder attachments, 
a lot of good stuff in here. But the one everyone knows it for is for being able to hold your iPhone up on anything. So the material itself is not very sticky, but it is porous. And let me show you what it can do. With an iPhone inside, you can go ahead and stick it anywhere. That's on the wall and it actually has a good amount of staying power. That's crazy. Even stick an iPhone on the back of another iPhone in case you want an e-ink display that's not e-ink or a display, but an iPhone with an iPhone. All right, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching my little accessories video. Shoot, that was not supposed to happen. Hope you guys enjoyed it. These are my favorite accessories for the iPhone 7, and I hope you guys enjoy some of them too. Peace.